Hi, I'm Larry Haney. I'm the head of the Division of Mammals uh, at the Field Museum of Natural History in Chicago. I'm also the head of a project that's working to develop a better understanding of the biological diversity that exists in the Philippine Islands. This year, we concentrated our efforts on an area called Mount Pulog. One of the most interesting and often challenging aspects of doing the work in the Philippines is simply getting to the places where we work. To get to Mount Pulog National Park, of course, we have to go from Chicago to Manila first. That's a long trip, and that takes about 30 hours. We then take a series of vehicles to get up into the, the mountains in northern Luzon. The first step of that involves taking a big bus. It's about a quarter to six in the morning at the bus terminal in Manila. Danny and Joel are helping to get all of our gear loaded in those lovely pink bags. Once we arrive in Baguio, we rented a jeepney. They were originally based on jeeps left over from World War II, essentially cut in half and extended, painted bright colors. We left Baguio about uh, oh, an hour and a half ago uh, on our way to Ambanyeg. This is the Pasu office for Mount Pulog National Park in Ambanyeg, Benguet province. From there, we rented a different jeepney to handle the dirt road that goes up to the park ranger station. The road is probably the worst road that I've ever been on. We spent the first two weeks working at the ranger station and staying in the buildings there, sampling in the habitats that are nearby. We moved up the mountain by trail to our second uh, campsite. There is no road that goes up to the very top of the mountain. We hired about 27 porters from the local community to help us haul of our gear up onto the mountain. It's about a three hour hike to get up there to get up to our campsite at the transition between mossy forest and the, the dwarf subalpine bamboo grassland that covers the very peak of Mount Pulag. 